check this out. These, these right here, are server-side events and conversion API events from my own website. This one is the duplicated. It means that uh, a, a browser event was also fired and worked fine for this event, but this one, this one is processed. It means that the browser event was stopped, probably by an ad blocker. But I didn't lose the event and the interaction from the user because I have a conversion API events. Yeah. So Facebook is blocking me from testing because I have the, the testing call for way too long uh, and they don't like uh, you to send too many testing uh, events. So the idea is when you um, add a testing code, you start to see live traffic and apparently they don't want you to see too much live traffic. Uh, I don't know why, why they do this. Anyway, uh, the server events will work uh, even when there is no testing code. You will not be able to see them on that uh, testing page. But let's see how you can enable this feature with pixel your site it's very very easy open pixel your site add your pixel id and this conversion api token if you want to test like i just did you can also add this test code right here go to events manager um, click on settings scroll until you see this uh, link right here generate access token click on it and uh, copy the token, go back to Pixel Your Site, add a token here and scroll and save. Uh, that's it. This is how you can configure uh, server side events or conversion API events with Pixel Your Site. It's that easy. So if you just install Pixel Your Site or if you are an old client, um, make sure you have the conversion API token in order to start sending server side events or conversion API events. Once you do so, if the browser event doesn't work, you will still get the data using conversion API events. Uh, well, that's it. Thank you for using Pixel Your Site.